once again uh, this is the 11th lesson so this is lesson number 11 from our main strategy and i am covering the key interest strategy which is um, the last segment of the course that you really have to master for you to actually get to uh, that consistency level so i'm going to be showing you guys how i get my entries and how i try to actually like minimize the risk that I put into the trades, um, particularly because uh, we want to maximize on our entries. So you guys would know how I personally trade that I try to flip accounts like to create the amount. So if you want to have a crazy risk appetite like myself, you really need to at least have the best entry point before you can actually think of um, you know, scaling in. So I will be showing you guys um, how I get my entries using our levels that we have on the chart. So what I need to point out is that the market will give you um, multiple areas of entry points. Like the markets will give you like a lot of areas that you can use to basically like find entries. So I'm just going to be using this area as the first level of um, interest for this particular example, all right? So suppose you're trading, uh, let me just, for this, for the sake of this lesson, I'm gonna have to at least uh, use the replay tool. Uh, let me see if I remember how to do this because I actually haven't done this in a very, very, very long time. So I'm gonna be trying to see if um, I do remember how to use this tool. But anyways, let me see, replay, let me click on that, okay. This is perfect, all right? So if I wanna get an entry around this level, all right? If I wanna get an entry around this level going up, what I would have to do is I will look at this market. Oh, if I change time frames, does it go back? Okay, that's beautiful. So what I would then do on this area, this is an area of interest, right? So I'm trying to find an entry going up with this market so what i would then do is i would take my trend line draw a line that cut from this previous market i'm not going to go very far i'm going to go to this previous support level i'm going to try and draw a line that covers most wicks which in this case is this area so if you look at this area right if you look at this area we did touch one two three so all three wicks are literally touching over there so I will be looking at that area in future to basically find entries based on this support level. So this support level will then become an area in which I will be making entries at, right? So this is how we basically want to find entries because remember that we buy low and we sell high. So when the market comes to this lowest point, this is when we actually look at buying. So this is the area in which we're going to be looking at multiple, multiple um, elements, which would be reversal candlesticks, which are very, very, very important in your trading career. Like in your trading, uh, reversal candles are very, very much important, right? So you really need to understand uh, reversal candles before you can actually start taking trades because then most cases, we do find support levels, we do identify proper levels, but we then fail to understand how to basically execute from these levels. So it is very important that we literally understand uh, reversal patterns before we can actually start taking trades. So the market can either give you a double bottom situation, like in this case, where the market just comes, gives you the first bottom, and then comes gives you the second bottom over there. So this is a case that can put, that can happen on the markets. But however, we want to see these types of candles. These are the type of candles that we want to see on the charts. So these are the type of candles that we're looking at for basically making entries. These are the type of candlesticks. So if you look at this, right, this is a hammer pattern. So this is what we call a hammer. So these type of candles are called hammers or shooting stars so we look for shooting stars hammers evening stars dojis and support and these will basically help us get uh, trading decisions so obviously we did get 
a shooting star day or a hammer and then the market gave us a confirmation but from there the market just went up let's come to this to this area so the market did come to give us um, that reversal pattern gave us a fake below gave us a reversal pattern so if you look at this whole candlestick what is this this is a hammer candlestick so if you look at this this is a hammer so after this we got a confirmation pattern then the market came into the lows even when we do came into the lows we came to actually test this whole level and region around there. So also again using an area that touches most wigs. If you look at that, you will I, you will notice that this area was actually uh, quite a level that we could use. Um, so this was a line that got established from this previous market and then the market broke out came back to retest and then we kind of reached a little bit and as soon as we got this close above this level then this confirmation that this level is actually holding you could take entries here exactly on that line and you stop below that line or something or wait for this candle to close indicating that we have actually shifted from the support then you can take your trades and look at that let's see how this then plays out look at that and the market came back to this area so it came back to this area again to this interesting level then you can see how we actually came again to reject at that support level before let me just pause it a little bit Pause. so you can see how we came to actually reject again on that level which would then mean your entries are still quite valid right your entries are still quite valid and then the market just literally left this area so for me what i usually do is that every single time the market would come um and create a high i literally mark it out to basically kind of monitor how the market will then behave in future and if we play this let's see what happens in the future so the market did kind of reverse at that level and then broke out and then probably it's going to come back for a retest around that level look at that so that's a clean retest on that level then the market is just like sailing to the upside so this is what I do guys. So you would even use this level as your second level of target. So let's pause again. Once again, the market did come create a high over there. Then what do we do? We draw a line. So if we've got like candles that that have similar wicks like that, what I usually do is I draw a line based on the bodies, not on the wicks. If both candles are almost the same length and the wicks are literally almost the same length as well. What I do is I then draw a line on the close and open of the bodies. So you can see that we actually did break out of this level, but then this candle has to close above for us to then see that this level has been breached. So you can use these type of levels for your re-entry. So imagine if you set like a pending order there, so you have to calculate like your 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 spread when you set your limit so if you've got a spread of two then you literally have to like raise up this pending order by two pips so that you get like an absolute um, entry so you can basically use up these levels for entry points look at how that look at how that level is kind of holding right so you you would obviously use these and also your moving averages look at how the moving average was actually sp spiked over there and used as a level of support so from this i would obviously look for bias from this level from what is happening over here because then the moving averages are being spiked like that and when price sustains above moving averages this means that the moving average did kind of hold but if i look at this the market has been ranging for a couple of hours look at that then the market just decides to shoot up look at that this is a beautiful 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 practical example of what it is to look out for again someone might say they want to put this line at the highest because then that's the highest point that the market got to which is also still quite valid i do use highs as well and if you look at that they did come to test the high to the t as well but let's maybe stick to this area for a minute right let's stick to this area and reach it for a minute let me use uh, a, a rectangle for this example right so this line is a line that touches most wicks. You can see one, two, three, four, five, six. This is an area in which um, the market spiked so much. So you can see how this level then became a level of support. And also the EMAs also play quite a major part of 
this analysis and this trade so we would have used both this support level and the emas and look at how the market came to bounce off of this previous high also testing that the moving averages as well so it's important that we actually uh, use all elements that we have learned from this course to basically get to understand the next uh, market move that is about to come so looking at this we do have a low we do have a high we do have a higher low higher high higher low higher high and obviously this is a higher low from this previous uh, low and obviously this high is clearly higher than that high this low is higher than that low so what are we expecting we're expecting the market to continue pushing up so what we would then expect in this market is for the market to go tip that 10800 region and then see what can happen around that market so 10800 is a level of anticipation for me and i will be i'm expecting that the market will come and tap that level however we do have other elements to look at so if you really draw like a rectangle from this support level resistance 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 you can see that this was actually a breakout and a retest of this resistance level so i could have even taken entries based off of that level and let's play and see how this would have played out so obviously the market did come to test that level again look at how we're spiking and then we broke below so this this whole trade yes so this is what i need to i need to even point out remember when i said that you want to draw like a line when the market just pushes up like that and then creates a high you want to mark that level to basically see what can happen so look at this so we did have like a line there using both wigs obviously from uh this previous resistance using all like both wigs uh this week and that week so we touched both weeks look at how then the market failed in future to break above that level so we did get like two spikes on that level literally on that level meaning that the market is kind of failing to break out of this high so as soon as you see this then you would know that okay like you really want to then monitor this trade carefully before you can even decide closing obviously your stops are below this level if you don't want to immediately close there as soon as you notice that the market is failing to break past the highs then you can actually like keep on monitoring the trade and as soon as you got this huge bearish bar so this is a this is an engulfing candlestick engulfing one one two three past three previous candles three previous bullish candles were engulfed by this one candle meaning that the market is putting in some bearish momentum look at that as soon as this candle closed moving averages crossed and then the market came and tested what this previous high meaning that the market has actually changed because then this is a break out of this resistance and a retest that this would have been an entry even to the downside where are we targeting we're targeting that support level to see if we can actually get to that support level based on how structure is created the reason why i'm i'm doing this uh, example this practical example is to show you that in forex we literally uh, let the market tell us what what we are trading we're not deciding on what the market is on what the market is going to do but we're allowing the markets to give us direction and indication of where it's going to go next so we would have obviously taken entries there we breached the support level look at that push to the downside to the absolute pip look at that drop absolute pip we did get to that level spiked it then we went back up look at that we came back to retest that level this would have been a, a beautiful uh, entry point for more shorts going way to that level again so as soon as we get here i wanna i, I wanna notice that uh, is this levels holding or not okay once again what i need to explain again is these moving averages are not there to basically like you know make your charts look nice these moving averages also do act as a major part and element of the strategy look at how we keep on spiking these moving averages so price keeps on spiking but sustains below moving averages so when the price sustains and maintains itself below the moving averages then this then becomes an indication to us traders that this market is basically still on a bearish move because that the moving averages are literally above price so again this area is a, is a significant area of interest that we're looking at and look at how then the market came to tap these lows again uh using this line you want to draw a line that covers most wigs 
and then look at that this was a breakout and then the retest was to the absolute pip look at that spike over there this would have been a clean entry as well to the downside and then you you you, you allow the markets to give you an indication look at how we keep on spiking the zone look at that so we got there to the absolute pip do you see how we actually came back to retest that level look at how we came back to retest this level look at how we even spiked that level so these levels are formed as the market then like goes as the market goes these levels are formed right so again what i am seeing now is that this level has now become like a critical level which could probably be a very strong level on the daily as well so you want to even like pay attention to this level highlight that level to to basically know that if the market doesn't break this level then you could potentially get more entries to the upside look at that spike look at that spike this is price action like price is telling you a story like this is a story that price is actually printing to you and you have to basically listen to what the price is saying to you so based on what is happening right now i will then be looking for further longs because then the market is failing to spike to to sustain itself below that level so what i can then do is i will draw a level here also which will be a level of interest so i can either get my interest there or here but however i need the market to get Give me a beautiful reversal pattern that i can use to basically get an entry going back to the highs so let's see how this would have played out let's see how this would have played out so the market broke above look at that spike so we did get a spike so based on based on this based on this price action right here like i will be looking at long so this would have been an entry for me why because then the markets that come to spike spike look at that look at that so this would have potentially been an entry so i would have bought here and my stops would be slightly below that level my first tp would obviously be uh this level this resistance obviously i'm not really taking profits but this is a level that i'm monitoring to see how we are behaving because then i can see that we're actually failing to break above and below these two levels so if i buy here my stops will be below that um previous week and my long-term target will obviously be the highs which is around about let's see how many pips how many pips so that's about like 35 pips and how many pips am i risking i'm literally risking around 15 pips if, if not if not less than that so i'm literally risking 11 pips for 35 pips so that's a two is to one risk to reward ratio so let's see how this would have played out let's see how this would have played out look at that so my entries are in profits now so i'm literally monitoring and observing this area to see so we did breach that area area taken out so we broke out of that level beautiful my tp just got hit look at that even further than my tp the market did go so look at how beautiful this is so my tp did get hit this was a zero percent drawdown trade if you think about it why because then i try to work on my entries and make sure that my entries are slick and so smooth so that i do not have to face major drawdown so this is where i would have honestly taken my trades and this is how i i keep on taking entries like on different time frames like on different pairs i do the same thing over and over again like i really repeat the same thing over and over again until i actually get the maximum results of my entry so let's see looking at this you can see that okay this level is kind of holding why am i saying that we did get a break above and then the market did come back for a slight retest and then the market is sustaining below so i will wait for the market to even revisit this high and maybe tap it for the for the last time then i can then look at uh, um, selling this thing this market back to the lows so uh, i'm gonna wait for the market to come in touch so it did not come in touch so this would have been one of those trades oh again so if they don't come and touch this level then i am not gonna trade this pair all right however i'm gonna look at other elements for me to basically get entries what are the other elements that i'm talking about so we spoke about you marking out this zone as soon as the market breaks it so draw a level and an area that touches all three wicks so if the market leaves a spike around this level then this would be a beautiful entry point so let's see how the market behaves look at that look at that they did actually come to touch that level to the t look at this they broke out they now came back to retest look at that so look at that look at that so the market is kind of like faking above 
right now which would really like annoy me because remember that if we if we came in here our stops would be above the previous high right so stops above previous high if we came in here so the stops haven't really gotten touched but the market is kind of like ranging around this level but structure is still holding so i'm not going to be closing these trades until my stop is hit or my tp is hit Stuck, structure is still holding however the markets are like kind of raging around this level so i want to see how then the markets will behave in future look at that we got a shift bar from that level then the market is kind of like crossing both emas let's wait and see so moving averages are still above price price is spiking to the lows shift bar look at that the market is just sailing nicely to the downside let's wait and see let's wait and see so the market will then come to this level according to what i believe because then i'm targeting that level long term so don't forget that right so i'm targeting that level long term is this where price currently is okay i think that is where price is today no that can't be can't be bro can't be bro can't be can't be where price currently is okay this is where we actually stopped uh, this is where we actually like stop the price so let me just exit this and then just like go back to show you that this would have been my target uh where is that area yeah so this is where we were working so then look at that so this was obviously my target look at how the price came and ranged around this level so i marked out this level to basically get to understand what can potentially happen next so using all weights obviously and again i'm gonna mark out like this area to basically kind of like understand what can potentially happen in the future as well so look at how we actually came and spiked that level then we did kind of like see a major drop on this pair so this would have been a re-entry so my first entry would have been here stops above there got a couple of hours of ranging markets and then the market decide to eventually come into structure came back to test this high again then we actually came back into structure we went and breached that tp took it out to the absolute pip so this is how i will then deal with entries guys this is how i would then deal with entries so now let's go to current market because then i would really want us to get to understand how we use these techniques using current market so obviously you guys as you know we do have these levels marked up uh, from our previous markets and then there's levels that we draw on the daily as i did say so we do have monthly levels we do have weekly levels and then now we want to draw daily levels right so monthly weekly daily all of those we draw uh on the charts to basically get to understand where price can potentially go next so i will be drawing my levels on the daily so the daily level is a level that is quite common on the daily so daily time frame is obviously like a larger time frame compared to the h4 and the h1 and levels on the daily are much more stronger than the smaller time frame zones however we are keeping our eyes focused on the larger scale of things so looking at this market right from the larger scale of things where is this market trending where is it going that's the question that we need to ask ourselves where is this going right so if we if we go to the weekly time frame let's go to the weekly and let's get to analyze this pair let's get to analyze this chart thoroughly so if we look at this we do have significant lows being created if i look at this market i am honestly seeing like significant lows being created so if i draw that line i can see that this market is quite trending down however the lows are being stubborn like the lows are not being printed like you know the way they should the market is sustaining and holding specific levels on the lows so i will be removing that trend line because i know where the market is going but you guys can can keep it on your chart so that you know so this area over here this area that i drew on the daily is quite a significant area because then the market keeps on failing to break past that low it keeps on failing oh my goodness i'm looking at another chart right now and i kind of missed my entry my god but anyways so the market keeps on failing to break past that 
that that that level so the market keeps on spiking once twice thrice and then four times so the market then came back above we sustained above this level 10600 which is quite a strong level because this level is from the monthly again do not forget so monthly levels are quite strong and we use those to basically understand how price action is actually set up so the market is sustaining above this level so look at that one tap second tap and the market is just sailing to the upside so we did come and tap this level twice right once twice and then it's actually like sailing to the upside so let's go to the daily so what I'm looking at on the weekly is that this level can come and get like a revisitation from the price looking at how this is actually set up we can see that this market can actually come and tap 10800 again so we want to go to the daily to basically understand if we can actually go up there and looking at the daily look at how we actually came to spike that level and then came back to the lows why are we coming back to the lows there's a level on the daily from here so i'll be using a rectangle to actually like get a median point and a median zone on the charts so we do have these highs so one two three four times and then five six and then the market broke above came back to temp one two three so this is indecision like this is indecision so today's candle can close like this so if we get a clean close on today's candle then this will confirm to me that this market will actually go up however i do have something in me that tells me that we can potentially break above this zone and I want to draw a Fibonacci to basically understand if this is one of our levels and if I look at this also again UJ loves 38.2 right so UJ really retraces a lot to 38.2 uh, percent so we want to actually understand that can this price actually leave this area to go and give us our beautiful target at the top there so I will be using a different color for that let me just uh, use that yellow um, line to basically set, uh, understand that this is where we're headed to 10873 10 so that's where we're actually headed to so if I come to the H4 now I can then anticipate a bullish run also looking at how strong this um, this run is remember that this is a daily level again this is a Fibonacci level so what I am looking at is that the market did come to this level and we are sustaining above so the market did come to basically create first bottom and the second bottom so what i am looking at is that the market will come to the highs so this is what i am looking at right so this is what i'm honestly looking at so the market will come to the highs break out of these highs and retest the highs then if we get a clean retest to the highs then i can then take a beautiful buy from this market because then i kind of missed entries where the market is right now so i will then be looking for entries around there on this level then we target what this level for the first level because we know that from the weekly this is actually like a very strong level 10800 however our Fibonacci tells us that we are gonna break above this level so what we're looking at right now is that we're gonna come and break above that level again what do we have on this chart right so on the H4 we do have this trend line so this is what we have on the h4 so this this trend line we can't ignore this trend line we can't ignore this so this can be some kind of an element that we actually add on to uh everything else that's happening here to basically understand where we can potentially head to so if i look at this i can clearly see that we are actually like on a bullish market looking at this whole structure so i will then be waiting for the market to come and break out of this high then come and retest this high then i will be taking this entry to the upside so this is a beautiful example of how to use this tool to basically get further entries to the upside so this is how i would have used uh this uh whole analysis to basically understand so if you guys uh, try to like get to understand how i got this sentiment is i started on the weekly and i went i started on the monthly weekly and i went to the daily to draw this daily level so this is quite a strong level that's a daily level then obviously i am using this to basically get uh, these smaller time frame levels for entry 
for entry points and then if we break out of this level then we can actually get like a beautiful push to the upside so that's what i will be looking at on this market and i hope you guys actually got to understand how i did all of this to basically get an entry going up so other than that guys i will see you guys on the next uh phase so the first phase is done because then this is the last video that we have on the first phase and i hope you guys are really learning from these videos so i hope you guys actually get like to understand a whole lot of things uh, using this strategy and this method and to get to understand how to basically create trades of your own so this is uh, with love this is with uh, you know motivation to you guys that you guys must actually push yourselves further anything is possible if you achieve if you put your mind into it so let's put our minds into this and let's make sure that we achieve everything that we deem to achieve beautiful week to all of you guys cheers